Let's get Chat Sports to 250,000 subscribers. We are currently at 247,812. Patting myself on the back for getting that right. That's for those of you that are watching this live. If you watch this on another date, hopefully we have more subs by then. But bottom line is this, here at Chat Sports, we're giving you guys free videos every single day. So if you could, it helps us out a ton. That's how we turn the lights on around here. Hit that big red button that says subscribe. First question coming up here is from Zeno, and it's actually a super chat. Fun, random question for everyone. What's your favorite car slash dream car? I can say convertible. I guess favorite dream car would probably be a Lamborghini if I could get my hands on one, or there's a Jaguar F-Type that I would love, or an 84 Honda. Name that movie. All right, let's go to this next one coming in here. It's from Doom. Your top three sleeper tight ends for fantasy this season. Off the top of my head, Going off it, I mean, if you want to get really, really deep in terms of leagues, Foss Moreau, I do actually think, has some pretty good value for the Las Vegas Raiders. He's had seven touchdowns in two seasons, and that's with him being very limited play. Logan Thomas, another guy for Washington, he's going to be really far down on a lot of people's list. And then, if I have to give you guys one more, let's go ahead and rock and roll with Jonu Smith. I think Jonu Smith could be... Another pretty interesting option, especially because it's a two tight end set. And most people are probably going to go out and draft Hunter Henry over him. So those are my top three fantasy tight ends as it stands right now. Let's go to that fat rat. Now that Richard Sherman has not signed with a team and is now cheaper, do you believe that the Pittsburgh Steelers can go out and get Richard? If you were to ask me which team do I think is the most likely to get Sherman, the Pittsburgh Steelers really wouldn't make that list. If they are going to go out and get a free agent cornerback, I actually think somebody like Brian Poole makes a little bit more sense for that team. Richard Sherman, I'm, I'm a betting man. I'm going to go with Seattle, the 49ers, and maybe even the Arizona Cardinals. Those are probably the top three teams most likely to go out and get Sherman. All right, we got Error or Arnold this year. Wow, get it together. Uh, should the Chiefs sign Josh Gordon? More Josh Gordon questions. I mean... Would he be useful if he could keep his head on straight? Sure. Does he have speed? Absolutely. Have the NFL been a little bit more lenient on their marijuana policy? Yes. So that's definitely going to help him out. But I am also in the camp of how many opportunities are you going to give a player? I mean, how many? Because at this point, I, I actually don't even know if I have enough fingers on my hands to tell you how many opportunities that this guy has gotten. And I get it. Sometimes, is marijuana that big of a deal? No, I, don't, I really personally don't think so. But if you tell me, don't do this, and you can make millions of dollars, I'm not going to do this. I mean, it's pretty simple to me. So let me know down in those comments, will Gordon ever play in the NFL again? I want you to type Y for yes, or I want you to scroll on down and type the N for no. Uh, I don't care who you voted for. I saw a long name in the side of my eye, and I'm like, all right, I already know who this is. Could you see the Patriots and the Cardinals trading Chandler Jones for Stephon Gilmore straight up or maybe involve picks? Seems like two solutions in my opinion. It would be pretty interesting to see something like that go down. However, if, if I am Arizona, I would actually probably want to hang on to Chandler Jones. And I think he has a little bit more value because he is an edge rusher. But both players are getting up there in age. Both players are coming off injury riddled seasons. But I actually really like this thought process. And yes, I don't really care who you voted for. We got Brady Morrison coming up here on NFL Daily. As a reminder, y'all, use hashtag NFL or Super Chat. Will Stephon Gilmore be traded to the Browns? Gilmore um, is a popular name. He definitely he's sitting out of Manny Camp, coming off a pretty, I shouldn't say rough season, maybe in terms of his standards. If I'm Gilmore, there's probably a handful of teams I'm going to go to. I obviously want to be able to win, and I want to be able to contribute right away. The teams I'm thinking of, Cleveland, would make some sense. However, they're also pretty stacked at the cornerback uh, market. Arizona, Seattle, the 49ers. Those are all teams that are in win-now mode. Those are all teams that could probably use an extra corner. I know he's also been linked to the Las Vegas Raiders because of pro football talk. I'd be pretty surprised if that deal ended up going down. But for Gilmore, if you guys want to take a guess on where you think he's going to play this upcoming season, we'll be looking. All right, y'all, so go ahead, use hashtag NFL, or you can go ahead and super chat. And if you're a Browns fan, if you like that last question, head on over to YouTube.com slash Browns TV. Daniel, Browns report, excuse me. Daniel Shegog, what team is the most overhyped next season? I mean, I, I'm going to go with this season because I think that's what you mean. 
the most overhyped team right now, I always want to say it's the Cowboys because somehow they're always like in the top 10 of going to win the Super Bowl it's just because they're the Cowboys. Another team out there, I think Cleveland has all the pieces around them. But until I see them take that next step, I mean, I, I, I literally think I saw Patrick Mahomes the other day say, they're like pound for pound just as good as we are. And maybe on paper they are. But Baker Mayfield does scare me a little bit, and there's always that part of me that thinks they are still the Browns. So um, I'm going to go ahead and say the Browns, but also you could, sure, go a few other different directions. Maybe even the L.A. Rams. Are we really sure Matthew Stafford is all that good? Let's go to Jaden. Jaden Salfer next up here on NFL Daily. How big of an impact will Eric Stotes play on the Packers' defense? So Stokes was definitely a player that I liked a lot coming out of Georgia. Long, athletic, lanky. It's going to definitely offer some versatility as well for Green Bay. But this was a team that really struggled at times in the secondary. If, if he has the ability to just be rangy and they're a little bit more lenient on him in terms of like playing man to, uh, compared to cover, like what's the word I'm looking for? There's man and zone. Get it together, man. If he can play more man, that's where he's going to be a little bit more successful. If they want him to play a little bit more zone, that's where he could struggle. Let's go to Frank324. Could Frank Darby be the late round steal of this year's draft and become the Falcons number two? So obviously Atlanta decided to move on from Julio Jones. The real answer to who's going to be the number two receiver on this Falcons offense, it's going to be Kyle Pitts. Eh, he, shit, he might even be the one. Calvin Ridley will be your one. Then your two is going to be Kyle Pitts. Maybe Frank Darby can do it. He's an athletic player. But for Atlanta, they are going to be looking for some different players to be able to pop up. If I'm a bet man, I'm probably going to go with Russell Gage. He's uh, not the sexiest name out there, but at least has some rapport with Matt Ryan. So that's right. I'm going to go Frank. I'm not sure if you're a Falcons fan. You look like you're new around here. Check out our Falcons-only channel at YouTube.com slash Falcons TV. Who wants a shout-out? If you want a shout-out here, what I want you to do right now is type me. Now, that's for the people that are watching live right now. If you watch this on demand, maybe a little bit later on in the week when this video goes out, you have an opportunity to get a shout-out on one of our chat sports shows. So about a week ago, about a week ago, name that song down in the comments, I did a show, or I guess I'd say a video, about players that could be traded in the AFC North. And I've been telling people, Turn on your notifications. I'm going to start showing some love to the people that are the very first commenters on some of our videos. So here were the first five comments on that video. So shout out to Ninja Alex 2K 7 YT, Daniel Carroll, Vincent Sorletti, Brian McCory, and Bill Lambert. If you want a shout out on a future show, like Mark, I'm looking at you, Tyrone Williams, Andrew Gonzalez. I don't care who you voted for, Corey Young. I'm looking at all y'all. Make sure those notifications are turned on. Be one of the first people to comment. Who knows? You might see yourself on one of our shows. Richard Lee, what up, brother? Gilmore to the Cowboys for a second and Anthony Brown. Usually I tell everyone to direct all your Cowboys questions to Tom, but if you're New England and if you can maybe get Anthony Brown in a second round pick, potentially you look uh, to, to do that. But there's a part of it, it's like, I would want a first-round pick for Gilmore. Now, him holding out, him coming off an injury, that definitely hinders you a little bit. But New England also has to pay $8 million of his salary this upcoming season, even if he goes and gets traded somewhere else. I would want a little bit more, and no disrespect to Anthony Brown, but, I mean, it's Anthony Brown. But, Richard, appreciate your question, my man. Let's go to Gage Anthony. Do you think Sherm goes back to Seattle? The top three teams, Seattle, San Francisco, Arizona, all those teams make a lot of sense. Sherm's also gone on record to say that he wants a two-year deal. I don't know if he's going to get a two-year deal. He's also gone on record to say that he wants to – he didn't actually say he wants to play for an old coach, but he literally was like, I want to play for a scheme that I'm familiar with. Seattle is definitely one of those schemes that he's familiar with, but I'm a bet man. 49ers, Seahawks, Cardinals, that's where I think he ends up going. We got Kyle Wedgworth. What do you think if Earl Thomas and Richard Sherman, so the richer the richer version of Richard Sherman, got it, went to the Cowboys with Dan Quinn, will it be the next Legion of Boom? No. I mean, let's face it. Earl Thomas, not nearly as good as what he used to be. Richard Sherman, maybe he's a better version than Richard Sherman, but 
No, guy. I mean, I don't really have a lot of confidence in Dan Quinn. I was excited to see the move at first, but all Quinn has done this entire offseason, I feel like, is bring old players from the Atlanta Falcons team over to Dallas, and if the Falcons had a good defense last year, I'd be like, all right, I can get on board with that. Defense stunk. So I don't think that Richard Sherman and Earl Thomas turned the Cowboys' defense into the Legion of Boom. We got Slice of Pizza coming at you. Let me know what your favorite kind of pizza is down in the comments. Am I the only one that loves, like, bacon and pineapple? Pineapple deserves to be on pizza. I'm just going to say it. As a Dolphins fan, Howard is really ticking me off. Really lame he is holding out a year after getting a new deal. Would you trade Howard for James Robinson? Would I trade Howard for James Robinson? No, I, I would. I, I think James Robinson was a good story last year. UDFA had over 1,000 rushing yards for the Jacksonville Jaguars. But, I mean... As much as running back is an important position, it's also probably the easiest position to replace. You already have Miles Gaskin. I mean, do I think Robinson's a better running back than Gaskin? Yes, I do. But I'm not going to give up one of the best defensive players in the league for a running back, even though, for whatever reason, Dolphin fans love James Robinson and they, they want him on the team. But I do agree in terms of the Howard thing is annoying because, yes, you just got a contract extension. I get you want guarantees, but... No, I, I'm not trading Xavier Howard for James Robinson. I'm, I'm simply sorry, slice of pizza. But I appreciate the question, especially around a top player like Howard. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to Chat Sports. We're pumping out videos every single day. And you know what? We're not only just doing NFL content. We got NBA content popping out here as well. So if you want to know what's going on with Kawhi Leonard, Chris Paul, all the biggest stars in the league, you can go ahead and do so. And... To be honest, we might start doing more NBA shows because it's the offseason, and anytime I can talk about the top players around the playoffs, that's pretty cool. Now, it won't be me. It'll be some other people on the shows, but bottom line is this here at Chat Sports, we're an interactive YouTube channel. We're 100% free doing live videos around the top trending topics around the biggest sports. So if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. We got Matteo Stefano. Get a pick. Sterling Shepard and a second round pick for Gilmore this would make the Giants secondary the best in the game well I'm simply going to disagree because I still don't think it would be the best in the game it would be a lot better and the addition of Bradbury was a huge addition for that team uh this past season no doubt about that Sterling Shepard though I wish I wish the Giants would actually give Shepard a little bit more a fair shake because when he first came out of Oklahoma I thought he was a phenomenal route runner, and he's a good pass catcher as well. Now, they're still trying to figure out what they got with Evan Ingram, and maybe both of those guys are suffering from similar things, but uh, this would actually be a pretty halfway decent deal for both sides because the Giants get a top cornerback, which sure is definitely going to help them out. I mean, Gilmore and Bradbury would be elite. I'd still probably go Byron Jones, Xavier Howard, though, as the top two cornerback duo in the league. But then for New England... You get a receiver, which they definitely desperately need, and I think Shepard would be a good fit there. And then a second-round pick, or do you mean two second-round picks? If you mean two second-round picks, Sterling Shepard, then yes, that is a deal that I would uh, go ahead and do. So, okay, yeah, you said two second-round picks. So if that's the deal, if I was New England, yes, I would absolutely go ahead and do it. And honestly, if I was the Giants, I would do it as well. So my bad for misreading that. That's a good idea. All right, we got Jets gang. How about them Jets? I should ask my dad. He's a big-time fan. The last time I uh, did anything Jets-related, I got roasted on Twitter, so I don't even know if I should say this. But I was working as an intern for the New York Jets back in 2015. That's basically all I know about the Jets. If you're wondering how they're going to do this upcoming season, maybe four or five wins. I'm hoping Zach Wilson can stay healthy. I'm hoping that Robert Salah can get that team together a little bit because they are the better team in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Sorry, Marsh. Let's go to Robert Jansen. What's up with Devontae Adams? He should go or should go with the Fresno State quarterback. So you're talking about basically Devontae Adams going to the Las Vegas Raiders to rejoin Derek Carr because those two played together. I mean, Adams is not said that he's unhappy, but he hasn't really uh, – indicated to me that he's happy with the whole Aaron Rodgers situation. I mean, who can blame him? He's coming off a year where he had 18 touchdowns in 14 games. He wants his MVP back there. I get that. He's also going to be a free agent, though, after the season. He's scheduled to make $13.78 million as it stands right now. If I'm Adams, I don't try to restructure my contract now. I wait until it's the offseason when the cap goes back up, and then I'm probably going to end up making $22 to $23 million. 
If you all haven't already, please go ahead. Hit me up on IG, MitchellRens365. If I missed your question during today's show, you can always ask me literally anything. The DMs are open. If you're wondering why your question hasn't been answered, maybe you haven't given producer Sam a follow yet on Twitter. If you have a Broncos question, if you have anything going on, maybe even around Oklahoma football, I'm sure he would absolutely love that. As he's repping his Boomer Sooner shirt right now, go ahead, hit him up on Twitter at SamBrownCS. So it's MitchellRens365. Sam Brown CS, that's where you guys can find us. Nick Fury, 55. What season record okay, will the Seahawks have, playoff seat and spot? Where in the playoffs will they be eliminated and, if possible, win the Super Bowl? My prediction for Seattle is probably going to be 11 wins, 11 wins, 6 losses. It's a really, really tough division. If everyone can stay healthy, that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, the issue, though, is... Is that going to be good enough to get one of those top four seeds? I personally do not think so. So we'll say 11 and 6, maybe 10 and 7. They're going to get a fifth or sixth and then lose in the first round of the playoffs. It's a good team. They got good offense, but that secondary, that defense does still pretty scare me. Sorry, Nick. You got Ding Dong Clown. Okay. Hi, Doby. Do you think the NFC West are Super Bowl contenders? Yes. I do think that the NFC West has got Super Bowl contenders. Mark, hi Mitchell, how are you? Mark, I always appreciate how every single question you start off with, hey, insert host name, how are you? We do appreciate you. In your honest opinion, will Rodgers stay in Green Bay? I still hope that he does. I actually don't think he does. Uh, this has been one of those rumors that's been going on. Everything he said kind of sounds like he's already been pieced out. I, I hate saying it, but I really do. I think he ends up going to the Denver Broncos. That's where I think Aaron Rodgers plays this upcoming season. Break your router. Okay. Did you break our router? Because we've had a shit show of a router here at Chat Sports. If the Chiefs could trade or get their hands on a good corner, who is the most realistic free agent corner they could get? So for the Chiefs here, I mean, I still think Brian Poole is a phenomenal slot corner. I don't know how he's still out there. Richard Sherman, if you're trying to win a ring, could make a lot of sense. And Steven Nelson. Those are probably my top three corners right now. <laughs> 